Oh boy, welcome back sports fans. Mike Kretz here. We had a big day for local girls soccer on Tuesday. We opened up Southwest League play out at Long's Family Memorial. Let's get you out there uh, right now in the rain. It stopped just as I pulled up, but the pitch a bit soggy. Gritty conditions for a matchup between two undefeated teams, the Central Warriors and the Durango Demons, both averaging four or more goals a game this young season. Who's going to open their account with a win? Let's find out early and often. Pressure from Durango. Uh, kind of a warning shot there. Later, more from Emery Miller splitting a pair of Warriors gets past the third. The play it would develop into this attempt. Uh, you're going to see plenty of central keeper Jasmine Hernandez in this one. Uh, watching it go wide there. Later, a warning shot from Sarah Som Somrak. A turn of shot all in one. Goes well high, but you're seeing what the Demons had going, including right here from Durango. They're just missing that final touch. Hernandez forced to come out and get it up until this point. This is the best Demons chance they had. They weren't afraid to shoot from deep. Exhibited uh, right here. You're going to see just a blast of a shot. That cross Bar comes up with the save, a little chip, uh, but just misses the angle off the roof of the netting. You can see on her face what that chance meant. Off the corner, more opportunities for Durango. Central's going to be able to clear it away. Uh, one of the things that impressed me most with Durango is how dangerous their throw-ins always look. Check out the height and distance there. Uh, off ahead, Hernandez able to track it, though. Uh, but, man, the Warriors just couldn't get it out of their defensive zone as we see Miller. She's going to take another stab at it going to the left. Again, uh, those throw-ins almost look like corner kicks. Again, coming off the top of a the head there. Again, Hernandez privy to it and I was just bemoaning how hard it was for Central to get on the other side of the field here they're going to take a bite out of Leanna Bryant drops it off for River Westcott she draws the foul and here we go off the free kick the Warriors had their best shot of the day to that point speaking of shots it'd be Lauren Spencer getting that shot right there uh, the keeper keeps it locked nil nil off the corner kick man very dangerous looking ball gets out of the reach of Hernandez Central though they would be able to clear it away going the other way off the run of Le Leanna Bryan again the Warriors would be able to earn a corner of their own and they man put it in a pretty good ball there too still deadlocked though back on this side more demon shots coming in remember that angle because it'll be important by the way, Hernandez uh, would get a fingertip to it, leading to another corner. Yet another opportunity uh, gone by the wayside. The Warriors able to get it out. More Bryant here weaving her way through traffic. Kicks it across the face of goal. Just misses a teammate. Uh, both teams now knocking on the door. Is anybody going to answer? We're going to find out right here. Nice ball movement from the Demons on the far side. And almost out of nowhere, Sarah Somrak gets a foot to it. And man, that is just picture-perfect placement. Sometimes those square posts come back and bite you. Not here, though. The Demons unlock it. 1-0 Demons and looking for more. Again, that monster throw and coming into play. A central defender comes into the rescue, but not able to clear it away. So I'm not going for a brace. Hernandez there for it. Still more chances. More opportunities, more Hernandez punching it to the side. Has to be said, she had a great half for the Warriors keeping them in it. Uh, but here, just a little mistake. Not able to get it deep enough. The Demons get it in great position to pass ahead to Miller. And again, that nasty, nasty angle. My goodness, 2 nothing at the half when I had to leave. Let's take a look at the scoreboard. Uh, Central, they were able to answer back with a goal of their own in the second half to make it 2-1. But the Demons would grab another. 3-1 is your final. We now have two 5-0 teams in league with Durango and Montrose is setting up to be a great season. Uh, let's check in on some other scores from around the region. The Fruit of Wildcats, they improved to 3-1 on the season with a 1-0 victory over Battle Mountain out in Edwards. Uh, the Huskies, a team that Palisade's going to have their eyes on. Palisade also on the road in Glenwood. Unfortunately, uh, don't have a final for that one. I do have finals for girls.